Misclicking units behind building foundations is one of the most frustrating aspects of the Definitive Edition. In all my years of watching AoE2 before DE, I've never experienced this problem myself, nor seen other players mention it, but all of a sudden, it's a widespread issue. Now, DE does add in the ability to hold Alt while right-clicking to ignore buildings, but that's a treatment for a symptom instead of for the disease. DE also added in new foundation graphics, which are individual for each building. And while it's nice to be able to tell a stable from an archery range without clicking directly on the building, these graphics are taller than are the original foundations. This added height does make it more difficult to see and click on units behind the foundations, but that's not the entire story. Units that aren't obstructed by the foundation, even units in front of the building, can be difficult to select as well. So I did some investigation, and in this video, I'll explain what's going on and why it's so darn difficult to click around foundations. First, let's look at an archery range. Using some video editing magic, I'll draw a box bounding the building's graphics. I'll also go into the options menu and turn on object highlights. This way the building will have a white highlight whenever I select it or have my mouse hover over it. This archery range has a large area that is inside of the box but is not part of its graphics. If we place the mouse cursor here, the building is not highlighted. Only when we hover over the building itself does the highlight appear. Now let's try out an archery range foundation. We'll put the cursor again inside of the box and in the top left of the graphics, but this time, even though the cursor isn't over the foundation, the foundation is still highlighted. Let's move the cursor around the foundation a bit. We see that the foundation is highlighted whenever we have the mouse cursor anywhere inside of the bounding box, defined by the topmost, bottommost, leftmost, and rightmost pixels of the foundation graphics. Even when the cursor is far in front of the building but not on top of the graphics, the foundation still is highlighted and selected when we click. For another example, let's look at a castle foundation. As more of the castle is constructed, the graphics grow taller and taller. We'll put boxes around each stage of the graphics. As the castle grows, the area where we can click on the building moves further and further away from the castle's base. And once the castle is finished, the selection behavior changes. The mouse cursor now needs to be over the graphics, not merely inside of their bounding box. From this test, we might think that there is something wrong with the construction graphics, that perhaps they have some transparent areas in their data files that we still can click on. So to test this theory, I swapped the construction and standing graphics for an archery range. The finished graphics are now for a range that is under construction, and the foundation graphics now appear when the range is finished. Now we'll retry our tests, and we'll see that changing the graphics files does not change the selection behavior. The unfinished building still is selected whenever we're inside of its bounding box, while the finished building is selected only when we hover directly over the graphics. Even more, there appear to be some dead areas inside of the graphics now, where we can click the mouse without selecting the archery range. So it seems that there's nothing wrong with the graphics files themselves, but rather with the way the game detects collisions on building foundations. The game appears to be coded to use different hitboxes for foundation graphics than it does for standing graphics. And I suspect the reason for this behavior is to prevent misclicks when a player clicks in one of these dead areas. Placing the bounding box completely around the building gives more leeway to click inside of the graphics and still end up selecting the building. Unfortunately, this attempt seemingly to prevent misclicks just ends up making the situation worse. But now we have to ask, why is this problem in the Definitive Edition? Certainly the game didn't behave this way before, did it? Well, let's go check. We'll load up the same experiment in the original game. We don't have object highlights, so I'll just use a villager and right-click near the foundation so we can see when the green outline appears to acknowledge the build or repair command. Checking the completed range, the same thing happens. We need to click on the building directly. And checking the foundation graphics, we see the same behavior as in DE. Clicking near the foundation still selects the building as long as we click within its bounding box. Going back even further, we see the same behavior even in Age of Empires 1. Here's a town center foundation. Clicking anywhere within the bounding box tasks the villager to start construction. Here the mouse cursor isn't changed properly, and there are some dead zones where it doesn't display the build cursor, even though right-clicking there does task the villager to build. So this behavior, where foundations have their own selection logic that clicks anywhere inside of their bounding box select the building, has been unchanged since the 90s. When the construction graphics were remade for the Definitive Edition, the added height just ended up making the problem much, much worse. 
something that no one had ever really noticed suddenly became a problem as large as the scaffolding itself. Now, what should be done about this issue? I think a complete solution consists of two parts. One, change the way the selection algorithm works for foundations. Any click registered within the interior of the foundation's outline, or in grid tiles where the building is placed, should count as selecting the building. Two, add in an official flat foundations mod, analogous to the official small trees mod. That way, even with an updated selection algorithm, we won't have the huge scaffolding making it difficult to see behind the structures in the first place. So there we are, the bounding boxes of the foundation scaffolding affect the foundation hitboxes. Unless this is changed, be sure to hold alt while right clicking anywhere near a building as a workaround. And I'm not done investigating these misclicks, oh no. Coming up soon, I'll have another video about misclicking the trees in our wood lines. So until then, thank you all very much for watching. Extra thanks to everyone supporting me on Patreon, and I'll see you next time.